properties and states of a system. Consider a glass of water. The water has a volume of 1 litre and also a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. So we can say that water is in a state which is explained by the properties of temperature and volume. So each system has several properties associated with its volume, pressure, temperature, mass, etc. Property of a system is a quantity which describes the physical condition of a system. When all the properties of the system have definite values, the system is said to exist at a definite state. Intensive and extensive properties. Consider a gas chamber with properties temperature capital T, volume capital V, pressure capital P and mass small m. Divide the gas chamber in half using an imaginary partition as shown here into compartment 1 and compartment 2. Does the temperature of compartment 1 change? No, the temperature will not change. The pressure also does not change. These properties which do not change their value are intensive properties. Example, temperature, pressure and density. Did the volume of compartment 1 change? Yes, it become half of its initial value. The same is the case with the mass. Here, these properties that became half of their initial value are called extensive properties. Example, are volume, mass, momentum, etc. Intensive property is that property which does not depend on the mass or size of the system. Example, are pressure and temperature. An extensive property is that property which depends on the mass or size of the system. Example are volume and mass. There is a type of intensive property called specific property. When we divide an extensive property by mass of the system, we get the corresponding specific property. For example, if the volume of a system having mass m is v, then the specific volume of the system is the volume per unit mass. The specific volume small v which is equal to volume by mass which is capital V by small m. Its SI unit is meter cube per kilogram. 